Earlier this year, around June, July, we launched our RoboTaxi service, where if someone was in Austin or in the SF Bay area, they can hail a RoboTaxi service from Tesla. And then in Austin, you know, below 40 miles per hour, you can get a car without anyone inside the passenger seat. First of all, we switched to having a single large uh, end-to-end -end neural network that can take in pixels and other sensor data as an input and then just produce the next action as an output. But what we found out was that codifying like human values is really difficult. For example, you could, in order to break for an obstacle or go around, you could go as fast as possible and then break a bit later or break earlier for more smooth driving. And this really comes down to an alignment of preference to human values as opposed to this one objective value of like how much braking and when to apply. For example, here on the left side, there's a bunch of chicken crossing the road. This is driving on self-driving software and it's just waiting for the last chicken to cross here. And then the car proceeds on its own. This is all just driving on its own. In this case, the car was smart enough to understand that the chicken actually out crossing the road and was patient enough, even though there was no collision risk, it was just the right thing to do. Back it up to go around them. Look at that, it backed up to go around the geese. In this case, the model understands that the geese are actually not crossing, they're just like stationary and decided to reverse and then go around them. So it's not, this is something that it's very hard to write in explicit code. But looking at the scene end to end and for humans too, it's pretty obvious what was the right thing? And that is why end-to-end -end is way better than a modular approach.